Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a few of the baking sheets I picked up at a place called Home Hardware. I know throughout Canada they have home hardwares but I'm not sure if they have them in the States or not. But anyways, they were on sale, most of these pans. I was needing some new bakeware so I thought these were pretty cute. It's purple in color. I think they also had a different color as well. The brand name is, I'm not sure how to really properly say that, Curadori? Curadori? And I thought this would be um, great for, you know, if I want to make like, cheesecakes or cakes. The nice thing about this one is it has the locking and unlocking side to help remove the sides from the cake or whatever you're making. I do have one of these already but it's made by a different company and it, it's all right but I like to have somewhat of a matching set. They do have more pieces but unfortunately uh, this video is not sponsored and you know I'm kind of on a budget so um, I could only buy kind of what I'll be using so I ended up getting a couple of the around cake pans so if you want to do like birthday cakes stuff like that these uh, are not dishwasher safe you have to wash them by hand I mean you could put them in the dishwasher but then it also might be where the coating will you know it'll affect the coating for non-stick and you also might get warping of your your bake sheets so you probably don't want to do that as much as I like to use dishwasher safe stuff I'll have to hand wash these I also got a couple of bake um, bake loaf pans because I'm gonna be making banana bread if you want to check out that video once I have it up I'll link it to this video showing you that I'm making some banana loaf and then I ended up getting a couple cookie sheets. I do think that they do have a smaller or larger size in this. But I got a couple of these for when I'm making cookies. So, yeah. I kind of liked the pattern, too. It kind of has like a um, raised edge part inside. So you don't have that flat surface that you're baking on. Even though I'll probably still use parchment paper just because it's easier to clean up. With the pizza pans, I ended up getting two of them because, you know, when you make pizza, you don't just make one usually. You make a couple of them so you can have a couple different varieties. So, yeah, we will test these out and I'll give you a sneak peek on the banana bread when I make it, what it looks like, and how the pans actually worked. So, just a quick overview of all these baking sheets and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions please ask them in the comments i will try to answer them as best as i can and if there's a link on amazon to where you can also purchase these i will also add the link so thanks for watching and we'll see you around so i gave these pans a quick washing just because when you buy new pans it's a good idea to wash your dishes because a factory, you know, it comes from a factory and you don't know who all touched it. So you want to make sure you have clean pans. Anyways, I had noticed when I was cleaning them, they're very nice. They seem to be a really good quality. I will update you when I start making pizza. Um, if I end up making a pizza video, I will link it to this video. I do like how the edges have a bit of a edge on it so it will I mean, it'll make good pizza crust I do have this other pan that I also washed and I noticed I always thought this pan was really big but this pizza pan is actually a bigger than this I'm not really sure where I got this pan from I can't remember if it was uh, Epicure or where I got it from but I do like this pan. It's great for if you're already making, um, cook. if you already have a pizza and just want to warm it up, these are great to have with the venting holes. Um, so I do like this pan, but when it comes to making your own pizza, you don't want a pan 
with a bunch of holes in because your dough is going to go through the pan when you're pushing it in. Then you'll have a hard time getting your pizza off the pan. So that's why I ended up purchasing some of these pans. So I just wanted to let you know the difference of the size and kind of what I thought about them after I was done washing them. Feel free to stick around and check out the next video on making the banana loaf. It turned out very yummy.